The Wall Street Journal has previously reported that the FDA is nearing a decision to issue an emergency use authorization to use convalescent plasma for treating coronavirus patients, while hospitals and doctors have been using the experimental therapy as part of studies or under compassionate use protocols. The move by the FDA would allow for easier and more widespread use, but already supply is running low. Sarah Doloff has the story. COVID-19 hit the Miles family hard, infecting four members, sending Dad Franklin to the hospital. We got to a point where I couldn't maintain my, my oxygen level on my own. Once recovered, he rolled up his sleeve to donate convalescent plasma. I believe that this is one of the most noble things as just being human that we can do for other people. Plasma, the liquid portion of blood, is rich in proteins and antibodies and has been used to treat other outbreaks, including SARS, MERS, and Ebola. While more research is needed to prove its effectiveness against coronavirus, anecdotal evidence suggests it works. And it's believed that that plasma might contain parts of the survivor's immune system that can be used to help somebody who's currently um, sick with COVID-19 to recover more quickly. As coronavirus cases in numerous states have spiked, the Red Cross has seen hospital demand for convalescent plasma more than double reducing supply by more than 70%. We are depleting our COVID-19 plasma inventory faster uh, than we can replace it. Now the organization is issuing an urgent plea for donors like Franklin Miles. While he didn't receive plasma as part of his treatment, he wants to do all he can to potentially help other patients. I'm all getting ready to schedule my fourth donation. A possibly life-saving gift currently in short supply. Sarah Dolliff, NBC News. To be eligible, you must have received a verified COVID-19 diagnosis and be fully recovered. Well, still ahead at noon, Mr. Food is putting a twist on a classic dish.